Hi, in this video I'll continue from the previous video where I, sh where I showed how to make a sinus wave in App Inventor. In this video I'll show how to animate the sinus wave. So let's get started. I'm in the old project here and I just make a copy. Uh, so save project as and I'll make this sinus wave moving. And to have it move, I need a I need a clock. So I go into sensors and I drag the clock inside, and uh, I set it to the lowest possible sixteen. I guess so it's it's a what is it six sixty frames per second. So. Let's start here in the emulator, and uh, I like to, or in the blog editor, so I like to uh, introduce some variables here. So I will have um, four variables, and uh, the first one I'll call amplitude. So I'll just want to customize uh, this amplitude here. So so it's so we are able to to try and uh, make some other parameters in our code visible so it's easy to see and uh, the next thing i'll set is uh, waves uh, or the frequency or what it's called so but i just call it waves here and uh, i'll set that to uh, to 2, as it was in the previous example, we only had one um, one wavelength, so here I'll uh, multiply by 2, or by the number of waves, so like this. And uh, then we'll need uh, the time, and we need a uh, speed. So time starts at zero, and uh, let's try and set the speed to uh, ten. So the time. Uh, I'll put in here so we make the time line moving and that will make the sinus wave move and uh, the speed I need to uh, increment the time here So I'll, I'll take the global speed here and I add it to the time. And uh, then I need to put this one into our clock uh, event. So this will make it fire uh, 60 frames per second or how fast your phone is able to run it. And this one should make it uh, should make the sinus wave move, and uh, unfortunately the emulator can't uh, handle it. So I I made a, a a mirror of my screen here. So I just kill the old project here, and uh, oh, So I'll find the new, try to connect to the new project here.
And as you can see, I can see I actually uh, need to do one thing more here. Because you can see here if I it uh, fills out the screen because I forgot to clear the canvas. So uh, we have to put a clear in here. Let's see now. So here you are. We have a moving sinus wave. And uh, if we should try and change the number of waves here, I can type 4 up here. And let's see. There you are. And uh, let's see if we can put up the speed here. 20. And it actually tries to move a bit faster, but. Uh, so that's kind of nice. So let's try and set this to 75 here. And now you can see the the number of dots is uh, not enough. Uh, but you could also implement this with a line uh, drawing or something like that. So, but uh, this is how you can make a moving. Uh, Sinus wave in Ab Inventor, and here's the code if you like to see it again. I'll just zoom out a little. So, have fun, and thank you!